I want you to learn tips to embrace and know your truth. Our culture tries to push for the victim mentality, especially in women. Let's face it, sometimes it's easier to go with the flow and do nothing. What is the victim mentality? In psychology, a person who was a Martin complex or has a Martin complex, sometimes associated with the term victim complex, desires the feeling of being a martyr for his own or her own sake, seeking suffering or persecution because it feeds a psychological need or a desire to avoid responsibility. You dig? Yeah. That was me. And sometimes it is me. Of course, a lot of us have the 15 archetype at one point or another. However, what we're talking here is when there is a personality change in when the 15 mentality is one of the major archetypes or types of psychological personalities that you're using all the time. It is very difficult for someone with a victim mentality to revert to something or rather other than that because they are in what I call an automatic autopilot. Remember that this mentality is normally learning your environment and taught or programmed by those you love and admire clearly. Most of us will learn some of these type of archetype before we're seven years old. So some of my questions for you are the following, and I want you to dig deep. What is being overweight giving you? What is your benefit if you keep being obese or overweight? Do you remember when was the first time that you were at your ideal weight or when these problems started? This might be a huge clue that might be something blocking underneath. Do people trust you more, talk to you more, find you more approachable because you are overweight? Are you unconsciously trying to hurt yourself by gaining weight? because you feel guilty about something, or because you're trying not to lose someone, or because you're trying hard to avoid being loved. Some people might use this as a protection mechanism. Do you feel that you have to pay for something that you did and you eat your feelings? I know that this has to do a lot with emotional eating. Are you trying to make yourself pay for something you did or avoid something? This is sort of the same question than sex. Why are you gaining from it? And most importantly, why are you losing by staying overweight? It is true that sometimes in their life, a person that has this personality trait of being a victim has been at or have been at the hands or wrongdoing of others. Sometimes this person might suffer prolonged traumatic points or periods in their lives and they have suffered some kind of misfortune. Victim mentality in most cases is learned and normally developed in childhood from family members or situations. Yes, a lot of the things, although we use the word genetic, might be more than genetic, might be generational. However, this is good news, as it also means that can be unlearned. Am I saying that you cannot lose weight because your DNA impedes it? Is this a genetic thing like biologists and scientists will have a stink? Not at all. Remember I said generational and not genetic, right? The truth is that most of these things above are myths and excuses that impedes us from become our bare selves. Why should you ask these questions to yourself honestly? Why are these questions so awful and personal and hard to answer? Are you having trouble or really don't want to dig deep and answer some of these questions? Unfortunately, anything that's worth in life comes with some kind of pain. 
What I'm trying to say is that there is something in your past or even in your past lives, if you believe in reincarnation, that might be blocking you from losing weight and that keeps reinforcing this negative habit, then you need to get to the root of it. Finding out for real what's the real reason or reasons and not go by the ones that others and yourself include yourself tell all the time. For example, I remember some of mine. I don't have time, this seems to be a popular one. I don't have money, referring to buying organic food or going to the gym. I don't have a babysitter. I really like food. Denial, right? I'm not fat. I'm not that big. I'm big born. By the way, if you know that the issue should be what should be in the surface, but it keeps happening, and if you believe in reincarnation and past lives, hypnotherapy might help, as there might be some other um, reasons that we call sometimes soul contracts. The truth is that you have free will. Who is in control? You or the fat imposter. You always have free will. We all do. So if you're choosing to eat a donut versus eat broccoli when you know if you continue eating things that are not good for you, you're poisoning yourself and getting hurt. That means that you're actually trying to kill yourself on purpose. Hmm. So I guess you have to wonder why. Why would you let your obese four-year-old child keep eating until they got sick? Would you do that? Of course not. Are you not loving yourself enough to stop this habit of overeating? This is one of the questions that I had to ask myself. As you can see, in this guy I'm becoming extremely personal. I believe that this is helpful because I don't want you to think that you are alone. These are some of the questions that you might have thought out if you have been having weight problems for a while. I'm going to have to ask you now to answer these questions in a piece of paper if you want to, apart from this course, and write the answers. Don't say it to yourself as an affirmation. Write it out. The subconscious only works with symbols and writing. Affirmations and positive habits are passed down to our subconscious by writing. Normally in this way. We will also talk about dreaming. As in dreams, we tend to bend all the things that we're, to, we're trying to work out in the wake state. So please understand, write your plans, write your goals, write your affirmations, write your desires, write your mantras, write yourself love notes, write yourself list. I hope you get my meaning. The answers will appear in dreams. And this is called venting. This really happens for real. Our bodies are designed to bend things or bad habits or negative thinking during the dream state. Well, let's focus now how to change things for the better. We're going to give more affirmations and we'll then start getting into nutrition and exercise habits and other things that can help you change to a better health style. The affirmation is, I am a blank slate. Let's begin from zero every day. It doesn't matter where I was yesterday, only where I will be tomorrow. Affirmations are a great way to create habit. These are some of my affirmations, but the truth is that affirmations work better when you write them yourself on your own. 
This is because your subconscious, of course, understands your own thinking and how you write them better, as every person has a different perspective and a way of talking. Those affirmations will help you turn around your negative thinking cycles. You can also write yourself this one or use the one below. Only today matters. Every day I start from zero. I will love who I am today. Every day, in every way, I get a little bit better. I want you to print this out and put it on your purse or your pocket or a variation of that, like a little mantra. Sometimes we just need a little push. Keep it short. You know better than anyone who you are and what your goal is for weight loss. Yes, I know that some of you hate mantras and affirmations. I know I did. Sometimes I think it's still silly or useless, but I guarantee you that it will help you unconscious to get rid of some baggage while you sleep. In addition, the more that you say affirmations to yourself, you create inner light. By the way, in the next module, we're going to start talking about everyday things that you can do to achieve your weight loss goal and why and how achieve this weight loss goal. I'll see you soon.